I'm Jeff Ausmans. I am uh, co-editor-in-chief of uh, International Political Sociology and I am based at Queen Mary University of London. Hi, I'm uh, João Nogueira. Uh, I'm also co-editor-in-chief of International Political Sociology and I'm based at Rio de Janeiro, Brazil at the Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro. IBS is a special journal among the ISA journals. It has a particular mission and one, well it has two elements to it. One is about the global reach, about which Joao will talk a bit, and uh, the other is actually to specifically try to work or bring together uh, different disciplines but in conversation. And international political sociology is particularly interested in conversations between international relations, sociology, anthropology, human geography, and various other kind of social science disciplines. And it does that because the current issues in the world, many of the major problems, are actually discussed across these disciplines. And it's important to start asking questions that come from various angles or that combine these angles uh, to understand issues from borders over migration, security, world order, war, militarization, and so on. So IPS, uh, of all the uh, journals of the ISA, is the one that has in its mission to reach other scholarly communities outside North America especially. So uh, we try to attract the work and the research of people working not just in international studies but in other disciplines, but also to stimulate the diversity of views, approaches, cultural uh, 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 perspectives uh, that usually are not included in a lot of inter traditional international relations uh, work. So our journal, uh, uh, for instance, publishes work from scho by scholars of different regions uh, in the world in an attempt to bring together in a dialogue different traditions and perspectives uh, in, about international studies and world politics. As part of the global mission, IBS also carries an ethos, about, which is an ethos about being relatively skeptical about universal claims of truth or claims about universal truth that apply everywhere all the time. And this is particularly important because it requires us to rethink issues around what is the global, what are worlds, are there multiple worlds, rather than, you know, try to build an understanding of the international. And some of the things that IPS does and is particularly interested in are then things about histories of regimes of truth, histories of the international, sociological histories of how the international came into being, uh, how it can never be one, and there are several worlds, and what does it mean for several worlds to meet and to be in relation and in conflict. And so this is part of the global mission, to not, you know, universalize. Yeah, and IPS is uh, true to its origins. It's really a, uh, a result of uh, the critical turn in international relations. Uh, and it tries to stay true to its, uh, its initial ideas that uh, we have to displace these universal truths about the world and displace the centrality of uh, Northern Anglo-Saxon uh, social sciences in our understandings about the world and try to be more diverse and critical about these universal truths. But we also try to go uh, beyond the critical turn and incorporate new perspectives in order to uh, be true to our commitment with diversity uh, and uh, 